Man, y'all know what time it is. Looking to take your Madden game to the next level while dominating kids in Weekend League and learn high-level schemes from some of the best Madden pros in the world? Make sure you check out Hot Route Tips and use code CHAOS for 10% off at checkout. For those of you who don't know, this is the Chaos Coaching Day. And if you didn't know this, I'm Chaos. Now, a Chaos Coaching video is usually when we go into a gameplay and I break down my thoughts, my processes, all that stuff. But today, I'm going to be doing a special Chaos Coaching video. It's really going to be a Chaos GM day. I'm going to be taking you guys inside my mind when I build my team. What makes me choose certain players? What makes certain players better than others? Because we all know certain players have similar stats and stuff of that nature. But what gives that, that guy the extra kicker? What makes him a little bit better than the other guy, right? And I'm going to show you guys why I make those decisions today. Now, sure, I know I have a very good team, so I'm going to have a lot of the best players. I know you guys can't always afford those players. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you guys why I chose my certain players then I'll give you guys also the best players that can go around them so maybe I have like the second best player maybe the third best player or maybe there's just best players for one certain scheme but another player might fit better for another scheme and then I'm also gonna give you guys budget players so if you guys can't afford the Bo Jackson the Kurt Warner the Steve Young right I'm going to show you guys budget players that you guys can work with and make do with. And then also, I'm going to break down all the different ways that you can build your teams, whether maybe you're a runner, maybe you're a passer, maybe you are maybe you do a little bit of both, maybe you're balanced. Who knows? I'll do that both on the offensive side of the ball as well as the defensive side. It can help you guys more understand the best ways to build your team, both for Mutt and for Salary Cat, which is the upcoming club championship, which is coming up after this Classic this weekend. Now this video did go a little bit longer than I wanted it to be, so I did give you guys timestamps. If you guys are only interested in a certain position or a certain side of the ball or whatever the case may be, check out those timestamps. I did break it down for you guys, make it guys easier for you guys to skip around the video and see the certain parts that you guys need. Now before we get started, let's do our due diligence. Let's hit the like button, hit the sub button, let's get into it. First here's my offense, so I'm going to be jumping back from my lineup over to the auction house, and I'll make sure to cut and do it smooth so it's not a clunky video, but I want to be able to show you guys my guy that I chose, as well as the other guys that you could possibly choose for your team, right? So first off, we'll start with quarterback, the most important position on the, on the field. Now, I would not re recommend ever budgeting this because this is probably your most important position. You need your quarterback to make the throws that you need them to make, right? Can't have overthrown picks, just can't be missing open reads when you actually make the correct read. Now, I use Kurt Warner. He's probably the best throwing quarterback in the game, as well as he's got the hot route master. So the hot route master can put any route that they want on my receivers, my tight ends, as well as my running backs, right? For split close and when I audible down to eye close, I feel like that's so important for me because I can do so many different things. It opens up a ton of different ton of different avenues for me, right? Now, you might not need the hot route master, right? You might not need five guys that can be put on any route. Maybe you just need one, maybe you just need two, or maybe you don't need them at all, who knows? But I'll show you now, we'll jump over to the auction house and show you guys other guys that might potentially be useful for you if you don't need those guys. First, here's Steve Young, right? So you see he meets over 80 speed and he is the improviser uh, archetype, right? So that means he gets escape artists. Now, Steve Young and Andrew Luck are the only two guys that need escape artists. If you're not using Kurt Warner, you need to be using one of these two guys, right? If you are if you have the best team, if you can afford it, Steve Young or Andrew Luck, otherwise, just get Kurt Warner, right? Because Escape artist is something that no other quarterback can really offer that just makes you be so fast behind the line of scrimmage. I posted a video on it earlier in the year. It makes you over 99 speed when you're behind the line of scrimmage. And that's just something that's so great that can help you avoid block sheds, help you avoid blitzes, and help you to make more plays, right? So we have Steve Young, and then you also have Andrew Luck. Those are the two guys that can meet it. You need to be over 80 speed, as well as uh, be the archetype that can fit it, right? So like, even if Kurt Warner had over 80 speed, he wouldn't be able to unlock escape bars because he doesn't have the art type. But these guys are both improvisers, so they can both make the plays. Now, they also are great throwing quarterbacks, especially Andrew Luck, right? Andrew Luck's either the best quarterback in the game all around. If you take away the abilities such as escape artist and hot route master, he has 94 short, 90 medium, 90 deep, and over 80, 80 speed, right? But obviously, he's 2 million coins, so he's not easy to get. So if you're really just like, you're a top tier team, but you don't want to spend 2 million coins, Steve Young and Kurt Warner is where you're going to want to be at. Now, if you want to go budget, right, where you want to go, to, here's where you're wanting to go, right? So you can't get the best abilities. You can't get hot route master. You can't get escape artist. So you're going to want to get Aaron Rodgers. Here's why. He is a solid quarterback. He's got solid stats, and I'll show you that. But he also just has the best release in the game, right? So he's only got 70 speed, but that's not too slow. Like, it's faster than, like, the 50 speed guys. And then it's got 84 short, 75 mid, 80 deep. Obviously, he's not the best. You're going on a budget, right? He's got a quick release, so he's going to get the ball off for you. He's not going to miss a ton of passes, and he's not too slow to get away from anybody. He's not going to outrun corners or anything like that, but he's not too slow. He's going to get stuck in the mud either. So here's a good budget guy. You can power him up as well. 
make them a little bit better, but here's our budget QB that I would recommend using if you don't have a ton of coin. Now we're on to running backs, right? So running backs this year are very deep. You can choose a lot of different guys for whatever kind of type of running back that you like, right? So I use Clinton Portis and Marcus Allen. I throw to my running backs a lot. Now Clinton Portis doesn't have the best catching, but Marcus Allen actually has pretty solid catching and you can make do with him, right? But they're not going to drop the ball a ton. They're going to catch the ball in open space and they're going to have speed, juking and spinning ability to get away from them. Now I don't use any abilities on my running back. Maybe you do. Now when you want to use an ability on your running back, you have to choose what you want, right? So if you want evasive, Marcus Allen's going to be a good guy to get evasive. Uh, he's probably my favorite guy. Tariq Cohen's more of a budget guy for, for evasive. But if you want someone who's like a bruiser, someone who's going to stiff arm, right? Uh, so like an arm bar, guy, arm bar guy or a bruiser ability. Uh, Deuce McAllister's not bad. Corey Dillon's not bad. Uh, and then obviously the best of them all is Bo Jackson. Now he's going to be very expensive because he's a limited. But those are really the top tier guys. And we'll jump over to the auction house now to kind of go more in depth into that. I'll start here with Deuce McAllister. I'm not even going to go into Bo Jackson. Obviously, you guys know Bo Jackson is the best running back in the game. No reason to even go over him. But Deuce McAllister, not bad. 84 speed, 89 trucking. It's going to be a good back that's got decent speed that can also kind of truck people and stiff arm and make plays that way. A similar back to that would be Corey Dillon, another not bad one. So it really just comes down to what kind of running back do you want, right? So... If you guys like a bruiser, you're going to want Corey Dillon or Deuce McAllister if you can't afford Bo. Uh, they're both 84 speed. They can make plays for you, and they're going to they're not going to be the fastest guys, but they'll be able to do a lot of things for you. Now, Corey Dillon's not a great catcher. These guys that are bruisers aren't going to do the best catching. But So if I'm throwing to my guy, I'm probably not going to recommend them. But if you just want a good back that's going to make plays, those guys aren't bad. Now, I already mentioned Tariq Cohen's uh, probably the budget evasive guy that you can get. He's a good ability guy, and he's not too expensive. You can, you can afford him, right? The other guys that you're going to want to probably get is Nick Chubb, who's the 84 who comes with uh, who comes with um, Armbar, as well as uh, Jim Brown, who comes with Armbar at 80. He's a Twitch Prime guy, so you can actually get him for free if you guys are on Twitch, right? Now, this is the 80 overall, Tariq Cohen. You can get the other one through solos or through training, but it's not going to be too expensive if you want to get him, and they'll be able to get evasive and make plays for you. And then, obviously, you have the 84 Chubb, who I'll show you guys, and then the... I can't show you the, the Jim Brown, but he's an 80 overall Twitch Prime. You guys looking at Twitch Prime, you guys can pick up that uh, that Jim Brown. Now, Nick Chubb, not going to be bad at all. You want his 84. That's probably the best budget. You can get him for like 34K. He's 83 speed. You can get an arm bar. He gets trucking. He's a really solid player. Good budget guy for your running backs. Receivers like running backs in this game are very versatile. It's really going to come down to what type of receiver that you want on your team, right? So first and foremost, if you're using Steve Young or using Andrew Luck, you're not using Kurt Warner, you might want routes on your players, right? So when you're looking for the routes, uh, like the special hot routes, you're going to want a special archetype. So you're going to want the route running archetype or you're going to want the slot archetype, right? So Marvin Harrison, Torrey Holt, Jerry Rice are all the route running archetype. That means if they're 90 overall, they automatically get slot apprentice, which means if they're in the slot, you can put the post and the corner routes on them that are very solid. And they can also get outside apprentice, where if you put them outside, they can get the C routes, the deep posts, stuff like that. Now, if you're a slot receiver, you only have to be tier two, and that's an 85 overall, and you will unlock the slot apprentice, which the slot apprentice is really what the best routes are. It's going to be the short post that gets uh, underneath the blues and the short corner routes, right? So, obviously, I have the three best receivers for what they are for the route running type, right? So, they're going to unlock the routes, but they're also very fast receivers, um, Jerry Rice is, I believe, at 88 speed for me, uh, excuse me, 89 speed. Marvin Harrison is at 91, and then I have Torrey Holt at 91. Now, these guys don't show their sprinter on them right now, which is why I added one to them. But they're going to be very good receivers, but they don't re meet 90 route running. So we'll jump to the auction house here, and I'll explain why you might pick other receivers outside of myself, even if you're looking for the best ones. Starting off here with Deshaun Jackson, he's going to be able to get to 90 route running if you use chemistries, right? So he's at 88 right now. Now, maybe you don't need a receiver that gets routes, so maybe you're just looking for 90 route running. So I'm using Kurt Warner, right? So I just have to worry about route running. Now, I've been thinking about picking up this Deshaun Jackson. The reason is 90 deep route running can help you beat cover one deep. Now, whether that be a wheel route, crossing routes, something of that nature, 90 deep route running is going to help you beat those guys deep and get them out of that cover one hole that can be so very annoying, right? So Deshaun Jackson's one of those guys that can do that. Now, he's also 87 speed, which is going to be solid for you, right? It's not like he's going to be a, a slow poke on anything else. And you're also going to look at Donald Driver, right? So Donald Driver is a solid player as well. He can get decent speed when you fully upgrade him. He's 87 to start off, and he's going to upgrade to a 90 like all Steam Diamonds do. And you can get him to 88 plus with Sprinter, you can get him to around 89. You see he has 87 deep route running. You can chem that up to 90, 
and make him do the same things that Deshaun Jackson can do. So if you're looking for top tier receivers and you don't need the route abilities, you might want to look into this 90 deep route running and they can help make your team. Now, I already mentioned the budget, Keenan, uh, the, the, slot, uh, the slot receivers only have to be an 85 to get a route specialist. So if you're looking for a budget receiver that can get routes, Keenan Allen's going to be a good one. I can't show it to you because he's a theme builder, but you can easily buy him cheap, build him up with training, or you do the solos for him and get that 87 overall. And he's going to be, be about 84 speed, but he'll unlock the routes for you. So if you're on a budget but need routes, he's a perfect choice. And then if you're looking for speed guys on a budget, Tyreek Hill's not bad. Marquise Goodwin's not bad. So I'll start off with Hill. Uh, but he's going to be solid for you. And then you also have Marquise Goodwin, Marquise Brown. Those guys are going to get 87, 88 speed for you. And that's going to be solid. It's going to be good enough to get it done. And then obviously Tyreek Hill has 89 speed. So Marquise Goodwin, Marquise Brown, uh, Tyreek Hill, guys that are fast, they're going to be cheap. Now, 80K is not super cheap, but it's also not as expensive as a lot of the receivers are. So definitely not bad choices. Now for the awkward tight end. So early in the year, it's always the same thing. Who do I use at tight end? People usually go to a running back at tight end. Maybe you go for a fourth wide receiver at tight end. Our receivers usually are bad early on in the year and month. They're not fast enough. They don't have high route running. They don't do the things that you need them to do to get open, right? Now, I don't use a tight end in my scheme. I use two running backs and three wide receivers. I do happen to have George Kittle. If I was going to use a tight end, I'd probably use him or Winslow. Those are the two best guys. No reason to even jump in and show you them. Those are just the two fastest, best route running, best catching tight ends you can get. If you're looking for a budget one, just get the fastest budget guy you can get. Evan Ingram is a solid one. I'd probably, if I was going to go with anyone outside of those, George Kittle and Kellen Winslow, I'd probably just get Evan Ingram and get him for cheap. And that's you're going to have to use a tight end. Now, if for some reason you're in a formation that maybe you can get a running back there, like Saints, uh, Saints Y Trio, you can get a running back at tight end. If you're in U Trips, you can get a running back at the tight end, right? Maybe you're in a uh, set like Tight Flex where you can get a receiver instead of the tight end, right? You're going to want to do that because early on in the year, the, the tight ends just don't cut it. They don't get it done. They can't truck. They can't, they can't really do the things that a tight end does. They can't bully you, but they're also not fast enough. Like a, t like a wide receiver would to get open. So they're really just useless out there a lot of the time. But if you're going to have to use one, Kittle and Winslow is where it's at. Now also for the O-line, right? O-line this year, I'm not going to lie you guys, it's pretty pointless to be honest with you outside of your tackles. So if you, at your tackle positions, you're going to want the pass blocking abilities. Now, not all of them work. Uh, Savage put out a video where it's showing them how Secure Protector all day didn't work. Now I've had a little bit of success with all day combined with edge protector. Uh, those two have been solid for me when combined. On their own, they don't do anything. Um, but when they're combined, they've been solid. So I have Jordan Gross at left tackle. Now I have Bruce Matthews at right tackle. Obviously he's a left guard, but if you start him in the left guard, if you put him at back up in the left guard position and then start him at right tackle, he will still unlock his ability. As you guys see, I have him activated along with Kurt Warner, right? So you're gonna want those guys at your tackles. Now, if you have an escape artist, they're less necessary. Maybe then just get one and then use one on your receiver. Or if you need two route specialist receivers, you don't have to use any on your line. That's why you have a fast quarterback to run away from those pass rushers. But obviously I have Kurt Warner. He moves about as fast as a snail. I need my pass protection to hold up. So I have both my tackles there that can hold off. Now for guard center and left, for both guards and center, just get the best guys you can afford. Don't break the bank on these linemen. For some reason, the linemen are always the most expensive. Do not break the bank on these guys. Get who you can afford and get out. There's no reason to get yourself a Matt Burke like I have. I just happen to have a good amount of coins as well as a good team, so I get them. But it's not that necessary. Just get some elites there, and you'll be okay if you can't afford it. Now for the defensive side of the ball. This is the fun part, right? So this year, you're going to want pass rushers. We're gonna. I basically just broke it into three categories. You have pass rushers linebackers and you'll see why i put quotations there and then dbs right so pass rushers they can be outside linebackers that are good at pass rushing they can be ends they can be dts whatever you guys want to use so the best pass rushers in the game bar none in my opinion are lawrence taylor and von miller here's why so both of these guys are extremely fast you see lawrence taylor's 86 speed von miller's actually 83 when you have the sprinter activated on him so that's very fast. When your guys are shedding, you want them to be able to chase these guys down. Now, they're not going to be as fast as the escape artist, but they're going to do a better job than, say, a Reggie White, who's 75 speed, a Cameron Hayward, who's 67 speed, right? These guys are going to they're going to be just as good with the block shedding because, as you see, 90 power move, 91 power move, 88 finesse move, 84 finesse move. And they also have the pass rushing abilities, uh, which is edge threat elite and power move, uh, power move specialist, right? So these guys are going to get after the QB, and they're going to be fast enough to catch them. And if they don't have escape bars, they're definitely getting hawked down by these guys. So that's why they're the best. Other great guys, obviously, that are kind of like honorable mentions, Bosa, Demarcus Lawrence, 
Reggie White, who I have on my team, Michael Strahan. Uh, there's a lot of great pass rushers this year that can get the abilities. If you're going to get a pass rusher and you're going to break the bank on them, put the abilities on them. You need the edge threat specialist and you need the power move or finesse move specialist. You need these guys to get after the QB and that's those abilities are going to help them to do that. Now, if you're looking for budget guys, I'll jump into the auction house here and I'll show you guys a couple of them. But to be completely honest with you, if you're going to go budget, you're not going to shed the way that you really want to like you will with a Lawrence Taylor or a Von Miller. I wanted to start off here with Clowney. Reason being, he's a good pass rusher, and he's also relatively fast. He's got 78 speed, so he kind of is in the same little area of Von Miller and Lawrence Taylor when it comes to speed and getting after the quarterback. You see, there's 84 power move and 74 finesse move, so he's not going to get those specialist abilities when rushing the quarterback. He can get, I believe it's edge threat, not edge threat specialist. Uh, don't quote me on that, but he does get some type of like uh, pass rushing ability. It's not going to be as good as the elite ones, but it's still going to be solid. It'll help you get after him. And if you want something like Nickel normally, you'll still be able to get after the QB and have enough speed to go get him. Another great guy, which I can't uh, look on the auction house, is Deacon Jones. Because you get him from the solos, right? So the same solos that you get Baker Mayfield from, you can get Deacon Jones. If you guys are on a budget, man, grind your solos. Go get yourself a Deacon Jones. He's going to be solid for you. He will help you get after the quarterback. And if you can't afford those top guys, he's about the second best guy you can get along with this clowny. So now we're on to the linebackers, right? And the reason why I put the quotations is most elite players aren't running 3-4, three, 4-3 four, four, three right now. Uh, separating yourself from 3-4 odd, which is a popular thing. But otherwise, they're in nickel normal. They're in dollar. They're in big dime. They're in something where they can get safeties at linebacker, right? So I do happen to use Shazier. Shazier is really the only middle linebacker that's fast enough to keep up with the safeties right now. I believe I have him at 86 or 87 speed, 87 speed. So he is fast enough. He will work for you. But outside of him, man, I'm really using safety as a linebacker no matter what. If you do happen to just want to get some other speed guys, a guy like Devin White, who's 83 speed, will work. A Willie Lanier. But I'm not even going to show you guys them because, honestly, you want safeties there, man. Um... You're just not going to really cut it. You're not going to get. You're not going to get lurks. Your guys aren't going to really make any plays for you. You want safeties there. Now I happen to use Ryan Chase here at linebacker and Ken Houston, right? So those two guys are 87 and I believe 89 speed, if I'm correct. Now, excuse me, 90 speed, and they're going to really do a good job for you. They're going to make plays. You're going to be able to use with them and get get to the balls that you don't think you might not get to. And that's important this year because it's actually tough to get a lurk because of the changes to the way that you jump when you're near a pass, right? So those guys are good. Adrian Amos is another one who's fast, can make plays for you. And then we'll jump into the auction house, go over the last couple guys that are top tier, as well as the couple bunch of guys that you could pick up. So another top tier guy that you could get is Burton Hanks. Uh, he's 84 speed, but he's only an 88, and you can power up every diamond to a 90. So with Sprinter, he can get about 87, 88 speed, right? So that's another solid guy that you put a linebacker. Now, I'm not going to show you them, but if you guys are interested in 90 zone at your linebacker position, I wouldn't recommend it because they're slower. And if you're going to have to user them, you don't want to have to user someone with 90 zone and kind of waste their 90 zone as well as using a slower guy. But Earl Thomas, the theme diamond power, uh, excuse me, the theme builder powered up as well as uh, Harrison Smith. Expensive guys that get to 90 zone, but those guys are also guys that you could use the safety position. Uh, because they're going to be able to get better plays on balls with 90, 90 zone. They're going to react faster. But I personally am not a speed guy. But speaking of Earl Thomas and Harrison Smith, let's get into the DBs position. So for DBs this year, it's very important. Just like pass rushers who get the abilities that can, can rush off the edge and make so many plays for you, corners are going to be very similar in that you can man them up and basically just take away an entire receiver from a game, right? So DBs I'm including at safety and cornerback. Now, obviously, at the safety position, you can still use a guy like Ken Houston, Adrian Amos, Mertin Hanks, guys like that. I personally am using Adrian Amos at safety still, but I also play Mel Blunt there. Now, sometimes that changes. Sometimes I want Mel Blunt's press, and then I'll put Lattimore back there. But really, I just like to put corners as many places as I can. Guys that can play man-to-man, -man, guys that have speed, and can make plays. There's not a ton of safeties that have speed right now. Ken Houston and Amos are really the only two fast ones along with Hanks. So I do use a cornerback there. Now, the best cornerbacks in the game, in my opinion, bar none, Willie Brown, Jason Seahorn, these guys make so many plays. I can't tell you how many times they just press someone the next week, right? They just don't even let them move and they'll get a pick for me. Now, Willie Brown can get uh, the man up and the zone up ability. He has over 90 man as well as over 90 zone. So you really have a lot of choices with him. You can put different abilities on him to make plays. So he is one of my activated players and he is my favorite because he's so fast and can make, uh, he can do great things with his zone and great things with his man. So I have him at uh, my, probably my main corner spot, but then Seahorn's a close second. Also, a, not a budget guy, but a little bit lower tier than the top guys like Willie Brown and Jason Seahorn is Jason McCourty. Jason McCourty is fast, man. This guy makes plays. 
for some reason, his press, uh, even though it's only 86, makes makes a lot of plays for me as well. He does hold guys to the line. So he's not bad. And then a good, a really good budget player is Marshawn Lattimore. Uh, you can get this guy very easily from doing solos. Uh, and then his, his uh, normal elite is basically it's very, uh, very easy to get. It's very cheap. And he gets up to 89 speed, as you see. So if you're looking for a budget guy that can make a lot of plays for you, Marshawn Lattimore is it. Let's jump over to the auction house. I can show you guys the other guys that you can be getting, as well as uh, a couple budget guys as well. So the upper tier cornerbacks, outside of the ones I already showed you that are legends, um, I already had a couple theme diamonds. But the theme diamonds are really going to be your guys who are going to be elite elite corners for you because they can all get to 90 right so patrick certain is 85 speed while he's an 85 overall you upgrade him to 90 he's gonna be a very fast corner can make plays for you now he does have lower zone he's not gonna get to 90 90 like like willie brown would but he's gonna be solid and i already showed you guys seahorn but he's an 86 right here when he gets to a 90 he makes a ton of plays for you uh peanut tillman another great player for you he'll make a lot of plays you guys see he has really solid zone so he's gonna be a really good player for you obviously and uh, Chris McAllister, not a bad player. He's going to be on the slower side, but all these guys can really make a ton of plays for you. Mel Renfro is not bad either. All these guys are going to be your top tier cornerbacks that are going to make a lot of plays for you, right? And then from the budget side, you're really just going to want guys that are fast. So I already mentioned, um, I already mentioned Lattimore. You're going to want also like a guy like Slay. You can get Slay relatively cheap. He's another theme builder guy that you can get with just training outside of buying his uh, normal elite. If you buy his base lead, it's only like 25k, and then you can upgrade it uh, through the theme builder with the tr with the um, power up card, which is not an expensive one. He's not an expensive one whatsoever. So you can definitely get a cheap slate who's going to be fast. He's going to have high zone. You guys see it. This 83 already has 84 zone and 79 man with 84 speed. So when you upgrade him to about an 87, he's going to have around 89 speed with high zone. So definitely a couple budget guys for you. I don't want to go too much more budget than that with any of these guys because the pass rushers in the corners really are straight up either get the best or you're not going to play well it's not going to play the way you want him to play and gold is not going to play much better than the silver and uh, basically it's not going to play much better than the high gold it's just the way this game works you want the best guys at those positions but hey, you guys a couple guys that are relatively cheap that you guys can make do with now something i didn't mention during the dbs or the linebacker section is pat tillman now i know not many of us have my master done i know i don't some of us do pat tillman's clearly by far and away the best DB as well as a linebacker that you can get. He can get the lurker ability. So you put him in linebacker allows you to be a better user with him and he's gonna have high speed, high hit power, make plays for you. Obviously playing in the in the secondary, if you just leave him in safety or put him in a corner or something, he'll be able to have high zone. He'll be able to make a ton of plays for you on his own. Again, high hit power, he'll make people fumble. Now I didn't mention him as a guy you can buy because obviously you have to earn him and it's very difficult to get. Um, I did mention Torrey Holt in the receiver section because you can level up a lot faster than you can get uh, Mutt Master, and that's something you can just jump into a solo, do passing plays over and over again, picking up yards, redoing the solo, get Torrey Holt really easily. But hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. I, it's a different kind of video. I know it's not a gameplay, it's not a pack opening, it's not really a tip. But I think a lot of people, I get questions all the time. How do you build your lineup? Who should I pick? This guy or this guy? I hope this helped you guys. I hope it helps you guys to learn. I talked to you guys a little bit about archetypes and unlocking certain abilities, things along that nature. But that's it for me, man. Hope you guys are ready for this Madden Classic. I hope I do well. It's Friday when this video comes out, so you guys know I'm already there. That's it for me. Take it easy. Peace.